All right, guys, I'm trying to step up my vlogging game, and somebody told me before you go out and buy a two, $300 drone or something like that, you need to get a little small, tiny thing and get used to using it. So I went to Tractor Supply, and I found this little small drone. It was like 60 bucks, marked down to 40 and then they marked it down to 20 again because there were like so many left in stock, and it's past the holiday. And I've been messing around with this thing just a little bit, not too much. Um... Yeah, let's see how it works. I want to get a drone so I can do some entrance videos and stuff to my um, my YouTube. And I like a lot of the ones, especially like from Goody Beats and stuff like that. So I got this little baby drone and I've been practicing with it. Except for when it does that. You just have to make sure that you keep the red the red spot on the back of it. I'll get it in close and see if you can see. But the back of it right here has got a red light. And if you spin it around, it's got a white light on the front. And they're pretty cool. I mean, especially if you're going to do video footage to start your drone or whatever. Some of them have stunt things you can do and tricks, but that's not what I'm about. I'm just trying to learn how to do the control of the stuff of this thing. So... Whenever I get to doing the videos and stuff where I can actually use this, um, I'm better at it. And they do make a difference because if you look at the quality of Goody's videos, Goody Beats videos, whenever he, I mean, a lot of that stuff is all done by drone and Chris, uh, not Chris Kruger, uh, there's another guy I follow. He does like really, really, really big time. And the controls are easy in this thing. If you, if you want to go down or if you go left, you go left. You go right, you go right, back, and forward. But then you're, you're up and down. This is your up and your down. And then your left and your right. And you can pretty much do whatever you want with it. I mean, it's pretty... They're kind of neat. You know, they're, they're fun. Just trying to get some, some, you know, what they call seat time down before I go trying to fly one of these things and then crash it into somebody's house or car or lose it over the... I want to get good with one of these little ones first before I go any further. See how close I can get it. Maybe I can touch the phone. Touch it. Tag your it. Alright, I'm going to go ahead and land this silly thing. This one has like a landing thing where you just hit the center button and it lands on its own. Anyhow, pretty good little dude. I mean, pretty responsive and stuff like that. So if some of you YouTubers out there are trying to get, you know, better video content, kind of trying to work your game up a little bit, you might want to think about getting a drone. You can take pictures of things. You can record full videos and stuff with things. I'm going to fly it over to property and get some of the, full, the horses and stuff when they're out there kind of doing their thing just as like nice you know intimate scenery going into a video to launch this thing it's the same way if you if you see here i just hit the center button 
launches on its own. I want to bring it down and just pull back on the control. Kind of really neat little. You know, and then it's, you just crash it into something or whatever, you know, it's done. It stops as soon as it touches the ground. You want to come up again, hit your button, come up again. You want to land it on your hand, land it on your hand. You want to take off with it again, take off with it again. You want to bring it back in, land it, land it in your hand again. No big deal. And it's called the uh, Propel. Just a little tiny dinky thing, and when it starts slashing like that, batteries are running down. But you see how long I've been running this thing well, for over six minutes now, and it's still charged. So now you just basically unplug the bottom here, pull it out, take this hook it into a USB cord, and it charges right in your laptop. And then you just plug it back in, and then plug this back into the bottom of it right here. And then switch your controller on. <clears throat> switch your controller on. It slowed down its flashing, it's trying to pair, so now it's looking for two key signals. Up. Now it's now it's programmed. Now what you do, hit your launch. Land it right back in your hand again. No big deal. It's got proximity sensors in the bottom of it. It knows exactly when it's landed. As soon as it touches down here, that's it. It stops. Anyway, that's my review on the Propel little, uh, you know, drone or whatever you want to call it. Drone. It's cool for kids. It wouldn't be a bad gift for a kid. It's really responsive. All the parts are replaceable. Anyhow... Take care, guys. I appreciate your time.